guys, welcome back to today's vlog. And today we're back with the lovely Katie. We are back up in, up in Warwickshire and we are ready to get ready for our show tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, well, well rollo has been in for two days because of the weather and he's been clipped and he's not been ridden for a week. So he's going to be fresh, feisty and wild. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> no you can go super speed one. round. <laughs> no energy for this one. No. I don't think he needs any go fast mix. <laughs> no, we need go slow mix. Yeah, we'll go calm, <laughs> chilled. He's vibe. actually not too bad. I should put some like soothing music on. <laughs> no, he's like, no, <laughs> no. Hey, I'll wear you out a little bit. He's ready. Still I can put a few more down. Cool actually, beans. I might whack him up for you, it'd be more fun. Yeah. Let's just go super speed and like super high. Yeah, I was actually eyeing up that ox over there, like I'm not even lying. Oh. You can jump that. Yeah. Let's go. She thinks I'm joking. Stop. I'm still getting used to the new course. You know, I, it's, you know what? It has just really good lines now. I'm getting better at my course building. No. But I do have a whole new like respect for course builders. It's so difficult. I take all the jumps down. I'm like, right, now what? Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to do the straight line fences first so I can see how you get on in a distance of just popping in, staying straight, popping out. Okay. She's like, that's boring. <laughs> She's like, I want to go. Right, let's go. He might have a little spook at the dartboard as you come to that. Yeah. Oh. Keep coming, I'll fake Did move. you see that? Are you bucking? He bucked. Excellent. And you were saying you wasn't sassy. Now relax. Good, let him pop in and let him travel down. That was so unstraight. This is why I'm going to do this with you. It's like an S shape. Good. Okay, turn around, pop back. We'll just pop those a couple of times. So working on landing, staying straight, staying connected, making sure like if he wobbles in distances, you need to know that you can stay straight or you make the distance difficult. So ride your line around that corner. Keep your leg in case he has a little spook. Good. Even when he goes to take, you must keep your leg there. Relax, just keep your leg. Good. I'd rather see if he's going to make a little mistake. Let him do it today and then let him learn. So if he runs and he's going to kick it out, that's his fault, not yours. Okay. Good boy. I never knew you could put the bridge up and down. Yeah, man. I can put it as big as I want. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> see your little head. She's like, yeah, let's go massive. Yeah. It's okay, you can go massive on Panda. I think he likes me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, we're gonna put Illy gorgeous. Hello. He's like, yeah, yeah. Right, we're gonna pop back and forth over those two again. Ooh, la, la. gorgeous boy. He's used to like following me around whilst I put the jumps up. <laughs> He's helpful. Well, I think He's he is. Very helpful. Okay, so left and right again. Exactly the same. And if you feel him go to run with you, just sit against him, like clench your tummy muscles. That sounds a bit silly, but like actually yeah. sit on your bum, make him have to come like, feel like you've got that connection behind the saddle. So he's not just running all in front. And then he gets there and goes, oh my God, I can't work out where my legs are. Keep that energy coming from behind the saddle too. That's better. I just ride your line out that corner, keep a bit of outside leg on to support your shoulder and then try to look up and stay straight. Now look up now. Good, that's better. Loads better. No wobbling then. Right, see how good you are at steering. Oh, she's going back. Go on, you carry on. Just keep your leg, even if he has a little cough, just keep your leg, go on. Lovely. Now keep your leg the whole way down that distance. Try not to set him up too much. Let him find his own balance. Lovely. Good. And he always like had a little rub, but he got to actually think a little bit for himself. I'm going to go sneakily go over the rainbow. He looks a lot more confident this time. I knew she was going to do that. She's so feral. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself, could you? I couldn't. I really I could couldn't. Too. Good boy. Yeah, I oh, know. It's like my happy place. It's like a question paradise, isn't it? It literally is. It's like a playground. Oh, it's a double. We got some setup coming in. Oh, gosh. Well, he's actually a lot calmer than last time. Like last time we were doing some of the angles. He was getting so feisty, it was hard for you to steer him in. So yeah. 
This is quite a good little one. To come around your corner, sit up off your ride your ladder. It'll be a nice, I want to say four strides. You might get five. Again, doesn't matter if you do. Land, pop your little purple oxer. And then I want you to come around your corner. I'm going to go and put it down. And come down your tulip to your National Saddle Centre. Oh, the tulip's a good yeah. height. Yeah, we've gone into a double tulip now. No, the so, tulip, you can keep the tulip as the same height if you are. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. She is feral. She's barking mad. Let's go I'll put the oxer down a tiny bit then. Oh, okay. Okay. Go on. I was going to say, because he will look. Go so come it. and pop that again. So you Oh, she's oh going. Oh my God. <laughs> she's off. Hold on, I just so when look. he's keen like that and then he has a little look, you have got to have the energy behind the saddle and he's got to have his head up a bit more. So when he has that look, he doesn't drop his head down and then you lose all your power because all your weight's through your front end. So yeah. come and pop that ladder, which is pretty boring. Land, sit up, keep his head and ride him into the contact of the bridge. Keep your shoulders back. Come on, come on, sit up, look up. Much better, good. And stay balanced for your purple. Keep your inside leg on. Good, nice little deep shot. Right, sit and make him wait for two. That'll be a relatively long one for a little one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> or just kind of go off to the left and he goes, oh, that's really hard work, but that's why you've got to keep that outside leg on around the corner. So you support your outside leg, give him the confidence to keep his back end underneath him. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg, soft in your hand, shoulders back. Good, well ridden. Still making it a little bit wobbly. Good. So he, that's what I meant about letting him make the mistake. He ran you then and touched it in front because he had a little wobble down here. Right, we need to just, I'm going to shorten this and make it a one. Oh, actually, he needs gosh. to jump it as a one. Excited. It's exactly the same connection, rhythm, ride him at that bridge so that you feel you're in control. <laughs> Woohoo! Right, now ride your, ride your canter. Stop trying to bring him back to you. Let the rhythm contain him. Come on. Let the rhythm take control. Go on, yes. Lovely. Told you all about the rhythm. Good I love boy. it. How much better was that? So much better. Like you can't come around the corner and like if you think about it, if they're loose jumping, they haven't got some idiot sat on their back pulling their faces off, have they, and setting them all up perfectly. The best thing for you to do is to come around that corner, close your outside leg, support him, be there, and then say, that's where we're going. Yeah. Good boy. Did you have one stride in Yeah, there? I did slightly shorten it, but only tiny shortened it. Good right. Boy. Oh, we're doing the Right. Is that too far for the work? No. No, 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 no. Like, you meant to be forward. I had like a really good mentor, a guy called Rory Gorsenon. He was Irish and he was barking mad. And he always used to tell me, you've got to ride out your corner. And he was like, you can never miss on a forward stride to travel. Like you're meant to be in hunting pace. It's not meant to all look pretty. And like certainly when you, like when you're doing some of those M&M, some of your old fashioned judges would far rather see them traveling. And, and like you want to watch and think, yeah, that's a pony I'd love to hunt because it helps you out. You come around your corner, it's like, yeah. Right, is that too big? Good boy. Nah. He is going to spook at that, trust me. And then he's going to spook at this one, and then he's going to spook at that one. <laughs> I took one down it earlier on that's not particularly spooking. It was like, Ugh! So yeah, it is quite, um... I say oh, that now, you watch, he'll come and he'll be like, da, 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 da. If I make it all upright, you can actually then jump it both ways. Okay. Now let him keep travelling, stay balanced, stay balanced, outside rein, outside rein, outside rein, outside leg. Go on, go on. Well ridden. Oh yes! Now that is how you do it. Love it! I didn't expect him to be like that, I thought he'd have a little... <gasps> nope. Good boy. But you see how good you are off your corner? You sat yeah. up, you rode your corner, you kept him straight, kept him balanced, so there's a the shot, let's go. So, oh, okay, why didn't you say so, Mum? <laughs> well, I'll make a little oxer and I'll put a pole on, but that yeah. distance all felt nice, didn't it? 
yeah, that was lovely. I probably like could with coming into the triples because they're going to get a bit bigger. I need to hold them back ever so slightly. So Just yeah, so you have to balance them. So you come off your corner, you feel like your hands are there to support them, okay? Yeah. But with a triple, you've got to still have the power to get in, to get out. Like if you were deep here, you're never going to get out down there. So you yeah. sit up, you've got to ride. So your, your job is this one, okay? Yeah. Their job is the rest. If you meet that one correctly, the rest is great. If you meet that one badly, sit tight, hope, beg and pray for the best. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Kick like hell and hope that some miracle happens that you make it out alive. Now I'm not going to stand down there now as your leaning post. I want you to ride out that corner as if I'm there. Good. Right, get the right side, get the right side. Right outside right side. leg, outside leg. Don't lose that shoulder. Go on, sit up. Sit up. Very good. I think it's ever so slightly a bit too... A bit too short. Yep, oh, because God. I had the oxer coming in then, so we actually had, because he runs in bold, he then got to think a little bit stop. for himself. You were doing the tulip next. <laughs> and it's good for him, like that was short, but like it's good for him to have to actually sit, think, like distances don't have to be perfect, like the canter has to be perfect. So for him to pop in, so they come around again this time and don't actually run him in quite so much, just sit against him, let him pop in, pop out. Then you're doing tulip, remember? Turn. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> Just checking. So exactly. And if you can, after the white gate, can you turn and do the sausage? Uh, pardon. That'll definitely be a challenge for you. Oh, oh, I can't hear her. I'll try. I'll do whatever she wants. So don't let him gallop in. Ooh. Sit, sit against him. Ooh. I can't hear. Hands down. Stay balanced. Ooh. Stay balanced. Stay balanced. Ooh. That's it. Chat to him. Sit still. Sorry. Sit still. He's got to think, sit your body up. So, oh God, he ran perfect. you in then as well. He was getting feisty, knew where he was coming. Keep going on your course and we'll fix this in a minute. Relax, relax. Sit up, sit up. Don't lean forward into him. Good. Exactly the same when you come for your walnut hill. Ride your line. Sit against him, don't let him run. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Oh, fabulous. Tell you what, he's so much more confident this time compared to last time. Ah, oh, you made the turn. So this is what I mean about working your corners better. So he naturally wants to come back to you. Like all feisty, he comes around the corner like a like kid in an ice skating rink and then he's like, let's go. Everything needs to be a little calm, but you must not throw your body forward. When you throw your body forward, you're then putting all of your weight through his front end, and that's the first thing that he's got to lift up. Sit yeah. your body up. Don't, you only have to tilt forward a tiny bit as you go over the fence. Hold have you that. shortened the triple a little bit? I put an oxer on, which is why it feels shorter, so I'm going to make this a little bit longer for you now. Okay. And actually, he's got so much stride. He shouldn't. A little pony should be getting too very easy in this. You totally and utterly miss coming in. You were like, yeah! So that was why you then made it all a little bit. I was bit. panicking so yeah, much I about see getting that. the right stride to the first jump that I've just completely forgotten about all the other jumps I had to jump. Good, so when you, you <laughs> panic about the first jump and then forget all the rest of them. Great. <laughs> Good. That's just what I want to hear. So a little half halt you after your rainbow. Hmm? You always jump the rainbow. Yeah. Because oh, okay. it's good for him to like, he, he wants to be feistier after that. Yeah. So we'll do exactly the same. I love the Walnut Hill to the White Gate, that was cool. He loves it. He loves the... Then you could do sausage to horseshoe. Okay. There's no jump. Make sure there. you've got that outside rein. You don't want him losing that shoulder as he comes around the corner. Now get back in your saddle. The outside leg, soften your inside hand, soften. Wait, sit up. Good. Try to relax your left rein slightly. You pull more with your left than your right. <laughs> sorry, right now. <laughs> I love it, sorry, sorry. Good. What Don't get too now? overexcited trying to get to the fence and ride out the corner. Head up, whoa. Head up, whoa. Head up, whoa. Relax. Now, whoa. Sit 
it up. Good. Ooh. That's better. Stay balanced, stay balanced. Relax, relax. Don't push. Good, he actually backed up to Good one. Boy. He looks loads better. Yeah, he looks like, loads better. Where are you going? Just looks so much more confident in himself. Like, genuinely, I think the more that he sees, the more everything feels normal. And it's like, okay, yeah, this is good. Like, he's just coming a little bit fast and furious to this bit, isn't he? Through a bit too much mm. jump. And then if you look, he's just running a little bit over to the right. So, as you come in, he's just, actually, he's just losing that right shoulder slightly off the corner. Can you put, like, a pole in the front to, like, slow him down? Will that work? So I'm just about to do. <laughs> he won't go and jump my foamy poles, will he? Getting the foamy poles. I have to have the red ones. I can't do the green ones with a red triple. That's just oh, no. wrong. It will, it will clash. Or it look good. It'll be unmatchy. Yeah, it's just not. It's just not happening. Not a vibe. Nope. Yeah, no. What, so what he's doing, I can see he's running off the corner and then he's running you deep. So I want you to just come in and all your job is now is to come and canter and meet that first pole correctly. Okay. Then you're going to sit, you're going to keep your outside leg on and just slightly bring your inside hand out so you actually, and have a teeny tiny little glance up to the last fence. So once you've popped in, okay, look up. So like you'll start to train your eye to look actually where you're going, not looking down at the fence. Once you're committed, there's not much you can do. Now, tiny little half halt. Tiny little half halt. Leave him. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> I think that made it worse. <laughs> Good boy! He's as feral as you are! Oh, that was better though! He actually got a nice distance down that one! Right, stop now because we won't waste his energy! I just want to work on this bit because that is quite... erratic! <laughs> I felt it! He just like... He actually got more confused by the poles, like his little legs were like... What? Which is fine. We almost need something, something to make him back off. Yeah, but if you see, every time he's over to that right. So... Have I got to come through those? Yep. He's not going to knock his feet, is he? No, no, I'm coming for you. I haven't put them out properly yet, so I'm getting overexcited. This is like my science homework. This is like really technical and like a little bit complicated. Okay, don't jump your rainbow. Just come round. Don't run your mum's camera over. Where come is round. it? Round. Okay. He should spook a little bit that don't make sure he doesn't stop and spin and like deck you at it. Just sit, <laughs> pop into your little tunnel. Then I want you to just focus on this red pole on the floor. Then just let the rest happen, oh, okay. hopefully. And as soon as you land after your oxer, counting. connect for one stride, soften for one stride. Relax, relax, soft. Sit up. Yay! Sit up. Good, give him a pat. Wait, stop, we'll go over the tulip. All that did was stop that shoulder from running around the corner. Sit still, look up, look up. Very nice. Ooh. Does that feel easier? Yeah, That's a, a little bit his weakness, especially on that left rein, where he's done. So we'll now do it from the rainbow to this. And what I want you to try and do is after that rainbow, use the fence a bit to help you. Would you mind putting the last one in or yeah, was out? Yeah, that, when he's actually good, does that then feel a bit too Yeah, long? Like, it, like the first two jumps are perfect, yeah. but then as soon as it gets into the last one, it just like mucks up the river. Yeah, I'm on it. Ooh. Quietly. That's better. Sit against him, sit against him. I just look at your red pole. Sit up. Fabulous, I'd rather see him go a little bit long like that and help himself out than go really deep and kick them out. Sit up, he's tiring a little bit. You're gonna have to support him. Good, stay balanced. Good outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Oh, good boy, give him a pat. Really good, actually, because that's horrible and scary. And he was like, yes, OK, I can do it. Good boy. <laughs> He's like, oh, what did she make me do? That was really good because you're a little bit long to that. 
but he didn't panic, he didn't scramble, he kept his jump, you kept your rhythm, you kept your connection, you sat there, you let him pop in and have to actually think for himself. Nothing's ever perfect. Like you're not always gonna pop into a fence and have it spot on to every single fence. Nobody can do that. But yeah. if you train them to trust you and train them in that canter and that rhythm, they can help you out. Good boy. Oh, can I jump the gnomes? So you go can like that way, you then want, turn like around and yep. then, okay. Yep, yep, yep. You like the gnomes. Although someone said to me the other day they look like little hairy toes and now all I can see is hairy toes and not gnomes. That is wrong. Hold on, let me look at them. I'm going to put smiley faces on all of them so they are gnomes. Hairy smiley toes. <laughs> oh, they do. They do, it's ridiculous. I'm so upset about it now. Hairy toes <laughs> with hats on. Nice, don't fold your body. You can't pick him up and go over the jump for him. Just ride at your front rail. He's probably gonna pick his head up a tiny bit. Don't, soft, soft. Keep your leg. Oh, we found a little problem. <laughs> Rolo. Okay. <laughs> I think he's more scared of that. Right, when you have a little water tray problem, just walk through it. Go on, go on. He's thirsty. <laughs> oh, I just, <laughs> really? Every time we have a lesson, he does I this. love it, I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe you go we'll walk go through it. it now. Okay. Good boy. So now that he knows what it is, I'm straight away again, exactly like you were. And if he's going to have a spook at that, have your outside leg on, keep straight, keep focused, so he hasn't got a chance to look at that. As you know, some of those courses, like you go to Lincoln, you've got stones and weird things all over the place, so he's got to get used to things being chucked everywhere. I'm even going to put a pheasant on him now. He'll be even more offended by the bridge. <laughs> now don't overcook him, the water's now moving, so keep his head up. Just Ooh. relax. Keep your leg, keep your leg. Good, well ridden. Good boy. I actually think he quite liked the pheasant. <laughs> Keep him together. Good. Stay balanced in your body. He'd be a right good little show jumping pony. He turns really to old god. Sit still. Lovely. I love that. You gave him time to assess it, time to see what it was. And he was like, okay. And he actually backed up and jumped it proper. Keep your leg. Oh, hello! Good boy. Do you want to do the tray with the water? Oh, she's off. Of course she's off. That's quite big! She's like, ah! Is she off again? I feel like the wall is a bit big though. I'm going to pull the wall. Oh, she is off. <laughs> I tell you what, he is definitely growing in confidence. I'll give you that. And that's so nice. You can just turn, land left, land right, keep in balance. Oh, she's going again. Is this wall too big? It is a bit, isn't it? Huh? Is the wall too big? No. How do you do the wall? I'll put I'll pull it out a tiny bit and I just put the bit like the plank in the middle. <laughs> He's like, oh god, these guys are nuts. Good boy. Right, so just stay in the middle. Look up. Good. Don't let him just charge with you. Sit against him a little bit, but keep your leg if he yeah, does run. Fair play. <laughs> He's definitely got enough jump. Yeah. I love that though. He had a little look, he hovered, and then he's like, no, no, it's fine. And he threw a massive jump. I'm just going to go jump the hare, the rabbit things again. You like the rabbits, don't you? Yeah, I like the rabbits. You jump those rabbits. Stay relaxed and look up. Good. It's actually better when they're bigger. I think he has to actually concentrate. Nice. I mean, if you can do these this tight, hoys would be no problem. And then, hold on. I love that misser as well. I did notice. Try not to just let him run on a bit of a, like, women of prayer. Keep them together. That's better. 
Cheers, Farrell. Mm, I love it. Keep your leg. Fabulous. Good boy. Hold on, and then where well, am I, I going? I must not swerve. I really want to. That was mega. <laughs> Stay balanced. Keep your hands down when he runs. He's really neat and tidy, but don't let him drop his head now. He's getting a bit tired. Keep his head up. Keep the canter underneath you. Okay. Good. Keep your outside leg. Sit still. Nice shot. Brilliant. Good boy. He is actually, you've got to get that bit of balance with him. I think for a show, he is probably better a little bit tired. Yeah, yeah we just have to have top sides of him and he's actually focused and concentrating. Yeah. Like he's a little bit like you are when you come in here. He's like a kid in a candy store and he's like, where are we going? Let's do everything. Yeah. He looks amazing. And he's, he's really fit. Like he's not even sweating. How's you feel? Amazing. Good. I like amazing. It's lovely to just pop down the triple like, yeah. He's wicked. Really cool. If he was 16-2, oh. Yeah, probably be in the Olympics. If he was like a panda size, oh my God, I'd be a horse <laughs> in the show jumping section. You kind of need that little bit of Rolo and pandas together. Like panda could do with a little bit of Rolo zest for life. I say that now, like maybe he'll be really excited now. Yeah, chill. Ooh. That'd be the perfect combo. He looks loads better this time, loads better. He's got little sweaty eyelids. He's so cool, he's so willing. Yeah, he's wicked. But he, you look more confident with him this time as well. Yeah, like now we've proper clipped with each other when we're jumping, like we just touch and go basically. Though. Yeah. But you just have to keep practicing, he's got some rounds under your belt. It takes time. Rome was not built in a day. Yeah. So it's now Panda's turn and Katie is riding him for the first time and she actually looks really good on him. He's on like some energy stuff. Um, it's just like um, a little, it's in his feed. Okay, oh, I'll take it back. I want this in 16 too. Good boy. Yeah, I love him. I'll swap here, I'll send you back with something else. Nah. You look amazing on him. Huh? You look amazing on him. Yeah, I like this one. If you ever go on holiday and you want to leave him with me, I'll just compete him for you while you're on holiday. <laughs> So his transitions needs to be a little bit sharper, like down to trot, he's a bit ugh. Got to actually sit up and use his bum. Can we just have a little pop over a couple? Oh, hello. Do you want me to put anything up or down? Huh? Yeah, we put a couple up. The... Put some up, babe. Put some up. Right there, off that corner. I'm like, come on, off the corner. Don't hang on me. in a minute. Oh, 
I'll come run down to that. He like on the left rein, tries to run through his right shoulder. Both uh. yours do that. Lovely. Put that up a little bit. A little bit more? Yeah, one more and I'll just see and then you can get on. This does need, you need to ride him out your corners better so you don't protect him all the time. Yeah. Like he's so reliant on you and then if you get him a little bit wrong, it's like, oh, it's okay, I'll just slow down a bit. No, he's got to keep his rhythm. Yeah. Oh, you've got plenty of scope. Nice. Amazing. How do you get like the perfect stride to everything? I've got really long legs. I was like, <sighs> and I ride the canter. So like, I don't give him a chance to back off. What he tends to like to do is I wobbles a bit around the corners and then you try to stay straight to the fence. If you want to shorten him at all, he's like, I can't shorten, I don't know how can I, I've got to go forward then. So that's where he needs to get a bit stronger behind and actually have to push his rhythm, push his bum and actually make it more rideable for you as well. Like you're kind of relying on clear rounds on his scope and actually if we can get him a bit stronger, muscle him up a bit better. Oh my God, he could be amazing. Yeah. You can have a spin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll steal this one. I'm just going to give him a little... Right, stirrups up. Are they right to the top? Um, no, go down... Two? Two, yeah. Just gonna spruce you up the leaves. Tail bag. Oh, the tail bag, I love it. He's normally got a waterproof one, but I don't think Mum could find it. See, like, that's hard for him. Like, that's what I mean, he's got to... And even if you have a few rounds that aren't perfect, but you're making him work properly. I love yeah. this attention to detail. What are the... Like, oh, I love it. You keep grooming. She's the best groom. Thank you. Is she? Can I steal you then sometimes? I'm a groom for myself. I'm going to fail all my pony club testing, everything from the wrong side. <laughs> oh well. No, when I went to pony club, I could never understand why you brush, him, why you brush their mane with a body brush. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> She's so left. Let's chuck her over the other side. And you mustn't be afraid to send him to a fence, but like when I sent him there, Oh my god, my legs are wrapped around him. So like the backup is there, that the bum has to work that bit harder. Come on, bit sharper. That's it. And then bring him back, so make sure you can get him back to you as well, because he gets a bit stroppy. Like, when you say, oi, wait, he's like, no. Yeah, he didn't like that one, it was too small. <laughs> Good. That's what I want to see, that when you put your leg on, you actually get a bit of a reaction from him. Good, and even when he drops his head, so as he looks at the fence, he's actually quite careful, but keep your leg there the whole time. Outside leg, watch that shoulder, you see? Yeah, you can just feel it, that's it. A little bit of counter flexion, so a little bit of outside bend, inside bend, so he doesn't just lose that shoulder. Close your leg. Good, so that's where you needed to be sharper off the corner. So you took a little bit for granted as you got there. So it doesn't matter if it's not beautiful in training, get after a bit off that corner. Then you can just sit and let the fence come to you. Bit sharper. <laughs> or just go really deep. <laughs> so that's what I meant, okay? And you focus too much looking down at your jump. So when I come to a fence, three strides out, I'm looking where I'm next going. Because those last three strides, that's their job, not your job. Once you're committed and you're in, your three strides, like you're not going to change much then. So come off okay. that corner. And as soon as you come off that corner, then look at, I know the bridge in the way, then look at your oxer. Sharper. Have that bit of contact there. Outside leg now. Sit up now, ride him at it. Go, go on, go on. Good girl. Do you see what I mean? For sure she'll go jump the oxer. Okay, go and pop your tulips. Because that 
was actually really difficult for him. Oh, there's a fence. So that's what I mean about the canter. So as you get there, you go steady. You can't jump like that. Sharper, sharper, sharper. In between your hands and your leg though. Don't chuck your contact away. Close your leg and sit up, look up. That's how you want to do it. Outside leg, go on. That will be short, now ride the three. Good. That's difficult for him. Only you could jump that the wrong way round. Oh God. Right, hang on a sec. She's off. She's done the big one. Wait, was I not supposed to? Mate, you do you. I love how feral you are. Was I not supposed to? I love that. She's like, was that? She's so sweet and innocent. Was I not supposed to? No. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. Oh, sugar plums. See what I mean? You, you can't ride this guy pretty. Yeah. You can look really pretty on Rolo and you can literally sit there and be like, this, you've got to dare him in a little bit. And the more yeah. you dare him, the better he is. He's like, oh, okay. But when you sort of slow down as you get to the fence, he's like, Ugh. yeah. And then he can't, when all his weight's in his front end, he can't help you out either. Is this what you expected? Yeah, he's better. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's lazy and he is lazy, but he's got so much talent under the hood. And like, I've got a few like that up there that you can get the laziness out. He just needs a bit of like corrective training where you've got to be a little bit stronger get him off that corner bed and ju just just getting a little bit more in tune with coming off the corner and going, not coming off the corner and going, ugh. And then he does a really weird jump. Yeah, and it's like, I think I said to you last time, you're gonna have a little bit of handbrake on with the hands, you got him there, and then you wanna feel like your ribs behind and go, and that's yeah. how it has to be. So you can get him in, like as you come around this corner, and actually if you video, so you can see her coming around the corner. You'll see, he comes around the corner with so much inside bend and he's like this coming around the corner. So I'm gonna come and stand. I'm not gonna stand first, sorry. I'm gonna let you come and then I'm gonna go and put my tunnel on again. Sit up. Oh Lord, sorry Panda, I, right. I pulled it. So no, no, you didn't massively do anything wrong. That's, I'm highlighting how hard he is, okay? He comes off the corner and he's like, like if you look at your line, I'll show you now. I have to pull him up. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise I was... I'll, I'll jump in the wing and yeah. I don't fancy going to any. No, no, we haven't got time for that. No. And do you know what as well? You were spot on to pull him up. So, they said that's when I came to that the first time with him, I actually did a circle. I was like, no, come on. So your line for that was here. Is that good? No. So if you're coming around here, how on earth are you meant to get to that last one straight and connected? So, I want you to come around again. And I want you to shorten up that cant around your corner. You're gonna come right into this corner and you're gonna come in between me and the yellow pole. Easy, you're gonna ride your corner first. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Outside leg, outside leg. Leg. Sorry. Bit more power, okay. You actually got the line, and when you put your leg on, he should have gone. So now, I want you to do exactly the same, and then as you come out the corner, tap, 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 tap. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, keep riding now, keep riding. Keep riding. Good girl. Okay, but this is what we've got to work on, and what he wants to do is come around the corner, do this to come around the corner. It's literally like turning a ship. So that that's where the canter's got better, where he sits on his yeah. bum. He comes around that corner, he sits, he waits through his corner. You can put your leg on, you can ride down this and make it all feel real easy. At yeah. the moment, it feels real hard, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're panicking a bit, trying to go forward, you're also leaning forward. So still come around that yellow pole. I just need now, to even if you're not, it doesn't need to be faster. It needs to be more active, more active, more active, more active, more active. Go on, go on, go on. I have no idea how he got four. He doesn't want to be slowing down down this. Let's have a quick swap, have a real quick spin down it and see if it's as difficult as it looks. Hello. <laughs> you are feral. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. 
There may be others. No, oh. don't walk off. That's that's rude. Just some help. help. Well there, child. You should be Irish and feral. No, no love. Oh, Get your bum Jesus. over. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right, feral. There's no one. Come on. Oh. Good okay. boy. Okay. I love you. Come on. Right, get the up. Go, go, go. Right, see if I blame you. Oh, I'll probably get all off it now. Watching house? Yeah, I'm watching. Come on. You made that look so easy. I feel like so dumb. I feel so. I he feel needs like a little failure. ugly riding for a little bit. Pardon? Needs a bit of ugly riding. Yeah. Made it short now. Yeah. when it gets bigger he's got to take you a little bit like that otherwise it's hard work for you yeah and you'll get to those bigger fences and if you're adding ones coming to that you're going to kick it out yeah Whew. do you reckon you can do it yeah come on kid you want to ride him tomorrow in the 90s yeah man no worries <laughs> no she's like no that's the class I'm looking forward to okay no I think I think Katie should do it no mum no. <laughs> right, what am I, two from the top? Who do you want? <laughs> he comes around the corner, you feel him slow down before you've even got there. That's when the energy has to come. That's what? when he's got a bit of power. I've gone two from the top. All right, all right. And you see, all I did, I sat my inside seat bone down, I shoved my legs on, I was like, I'm looking at that double and that is where we're going, okay? But he's yeah. got to start to feel like that kind of, it's not fast, I'm not fast at all. Thank you. It's just powerful. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Oh, oh, she's on. Go on. Don't worry about that yellow pole. I actually went over it at one point as well. He sort of, he's actually, I'll move it. Because he's actually, I want you to go out. I don't want you to like turn. Because if you turn, you give yourself like one stride where he's actually straight to get down the distance. But I still want you to respect and come round. But I'm out here. So sit up, hold your connection. Hold your connection. As soon as you get in, ride it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, keep riding. Now keep riding, go. Good girl, fabulous. Good. That is a little bit long to that, so that's fine. We don't panic about that. I want to jump him in the chip before he gets too tired. Right, so what I would have done to that, I'd have just held that tiny little bit of contact. So as he comes to that, he doesn't just slightly extend his neck. It's a pole. Are you kidding? <laughs> so jump all that, but the pole on the floor is really scary. Right, we've got. Well, I'm just having to get over the pole now. Sorry. Oh. That's anti climax. <laughs> Good boy. Right, let me just walk this because I don't want to be too tired for tomorrow. But like that, you have got to do some ugly riding. But your ugly riding is not. It's getting your leg on, it's riding with your seat, it's riding with power. Yeah. Ride your connection, ride your connection, ride your connection, sit up. Leg, sit up, leg, told you get to. Okay, so he ran in a little bit deep and a little bit dead off the corner and then he didn't actually have any power in, so he got two. Come one more time. And I want to really hold that outside rein, shove your inside seat bone down. So it's like your bit of counterbalance. Don't charge, you still gotta have your balance. Relax, go, go, now ride. Good. Good girl, well done. Good boy. These are all the bits he needs work on. He's the most genuine, like, doesn't look at a thing, will help you out over anything. But if you really want him to be that, like, Hoy's winning bit, that's how he's got to be operating. Go away. And even if you had a few ugly rounds, it doesn't matter. Like, the, that's the whole point of these winter shows. Yeah. Training. We'll just put, I'm not going to put the first one up. 
<laughs> that could stay like that. More passion, more energy, you know the rhythm. Work. Go on, go on, go on. That was horrific. Okay. Good boy. So you came a bit tight round and never got a chance to get your canter going. I don't want to do this one more time because he is tired. Yeah. I've got to get the one in. And you can feel when it's coming, when you let his head go, you've got to feel like he's, he's actually a little bit more engaged. He's up, he's like traveling to that first oxo and he's not just running you downhill. You're listening, young man. Do it one more properly and you can go back to bed. Come on, come on. Go on. Now sit up, close your leg. Yes. Good girl, well done, give him a pat. Good boy. You've got to keep pushing him with these distances. Because he is just, he's actually got almost, he's got a lot of jump, but he can't yeah. work out how to travel with it. And when yeah. it's just one fence, two fence, you can shorten him up and it doesn't matter, you'll get away with it. When yeah. you've got distances and you've actually got like bigger square rocks as you've got to think about, yeah. that's really difficult for him to go, oh God, like I can't just pop a little extra one in. Definitely. Bless him, he's still looking for his next fence. We've just finished our lovely little session. He's a sweaty Betty. He is, he's tired now. It's not quite dark. It's not quite dark, no. but we're going to start heading in. Yeah, ready. But have a nice little snooze ready for his show tomorrow. Yeah, the boys are staying here tonight, so have a little sleepover. Yeah, a nice little sleepover. Oh, my guys will love it. New friends to play with. We're heading to a show tomorrow, but stay tuned for that vlog, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.